God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Once again, this is your prophet, prophet Dr. David Kinglio Elijah, the major prophet of God. I am the prophet that God is using to set the truth to all over the world, whether men like it or not. I don't care what people say. I only care what the Holy Spirit says to me. Um, it is good we know that our God is a good God and is God that answered by fire. There is a shocking thing that the Lord has taken my spirit and my mind to. As I am seeing in the realm of the spirit that it shall come to pass. Because whatever you hear the major prophet of God saying is a prophecy. And also things that will happen. That is to mean that that is a future occurrence. And things that will happen, whether anybody likes it or not, is already settled in the realm of the spirit to begin to happen. You see, because I look at the spiritual world and the Lord begins to show me what is called the federal government of Nigeria. And the people of Biafra called the IPOP and the Mazen and the Colonel and Peter Obi. And when I look at all these things, and the Lord begin to share to me and the Lord said go straight away and communicate it because these are the things that will unfold and I look at it as I see what is called the FG now play what's called play draft with iPod and the mass and the canoe and Peter Obi and somebody will ask me I said major prophet what do you mean by uh, FG play draft with uh, uh, Peter Obi with uh, Pop and with a mass in them, the canoe. You know, when many people would love to ask that question, but it's important that I draw your mind and your spirit to understand some deeper things that people don't know about this life. You see, every man has what is called the spirit of God and the knowledge of understanding. People that are men of God, especially a prophet of God. A prophet of God is a man of God that knows and sees all those things that are written in the realm of the spirit to happen physically. And so what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that I see that it shall come to pass very soon because I am seeing the federal government of Nigeria now play politics. Hey! Shakatabara Nahakoso. Play what's called politics. And I ask myself, what is this politics that they want to play? And I see where they now begin to now say, okay, uh, now uh, I probably you are free to protest. Uh, 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 Biafra people, you are free to now carry placards and go out there and then go and protest. They begin to say that you are free now to go out there and begin to do whatever you want to do. They want it to be in a way that the people will now begin to now go out there and begin to protest. They need Biafra, they need Biafra. But the people you are dealing with that is called the iPod people have gone beyond the Rubicon. And when I say Rubicon, I'm talking about point of no return. Because uh, the way I look at them in the spirit, I am seeing uh, these are people that are not ready to sell their soul. These are people that are determined to make sure that they have what's called the republic of their father's land, that their mother's land, called uh, the Yafara. And now the thing that should be happening here is not to play politics. But what should happen here is what is called, uh, what is called dialogue should have been the case of everything. Because when you don't dialogue, you go into all of the other things, uh, you may miss it all. You may miss it all. Hey, Karama Sunda Karabada. You may miss it all. Because what I'm saying that you may miss it all is that you may make a great mistake. Because uh, it is important and it's good for people to sit together and discuss the way forward. Because when people sit down together and discuss the way forward, you will not see all the people that are aggrieved. You see all the people that are in pain. You see all the people that has one thing or the other to complain about. You see all the people that have so many challenges. They will now bring everything at the table. And these matters will be discussed, agreed on. And when it's discussed and agreed on, we will now talk about the way of what's called resolution. If a resolution now becomes what's called a referendum, it will be. If a resolution becomes what is called a, a people now to discuss a, on the way forward, everybody will agree. It's better like that than to come and say you want to play politics because I'm seeing uh, what is called draft. They want to use it, and this is what is called uh, use it and then destabilize the southeast uh, and destabilize the people and then make the people that are coming out to say they want to vote, uh, now not to vote. And the, the people are not even talking about voting. The people are talking about uh, their own republic. The people are talking about the actualization of their own uh, uh, people. They want to now succeed and have their own country. They want to have what is called uh, their own country where they will now develop themselves uh, and get to where God has prepared for them. And so playing politics and now telling them, and now you cannot protest, you cannot carry your placards, you cannot carry your signboard, you cannot go out there and tell people no election and go out there and this is what's called play politics. So in everything, we don't need to play politics. What we need is what is called negotiation. 
You play politics, maybe they look at it and say, okay, oh, yeah, P2B is coming from the, the Biafra side. Okay, let us now allow the Biafran people now to now go out there and begin to now carry placard and now carry flag so that to destabilize and discredit all of those things is what's called play politics. But the most important thing is that the people you want to deal with are more intelligent than what you think. This is what is called people that have crossed what is called Rubicon. I am a prophet. I look at people's heart. And also this is what is called seeing what is happening in the area of the people and the region of the people. And because when they begin to play this politics, it's going to be a lot of things put together. And when a lot of things are put together, there are many things people need to know that people don't know. You see, many people, there are many things we need to know that people don't know. And so, major prophet of God is the eye-opener that sees in the realm of the spirit. And now prophesy what is going to happen because I, I now see people now encouraged and the people now bring out what's called, sign, what's called a flag and now begin to go from one place to another say, no, lesson, no, lesson, no, lesson. They are not going to say it for what is called politics. They will say it for what is called the real deal. Because the real deal is what the people want. The people want what they want. And what they want is what they're asking for. And what they're asking for is what they want you to agree with them. And also discuss whether to do it in a way of agreement. Okay, you people should not go. Let us do it this way. Let us go in a peaceful manner and do like this and do like this. Or okay, let us now consult what is called a referendum. Or let us now look at the way forward to make peace reign. Or let us look at all oh, the release of Mazen and the Kano. Or let us okay do it this way so that peace will reign. Because in this way, we are talking, you know, many people will come out and they say, oh, man of God, every time you talk politics, you talk about this. Now listen to me, if you are a man of God, you don't talk politics, you are not yet a man of God. If you are a man of God and you don't talk about freedom, you are not a man of God. Jesus came not to be saved, but to serve others. A man of God must be a man of God that talk about the betterment of his people. Because if you say, oh, men of God are supposed to go and sleep in the church and begin to pray every day by day and begin to fast. Listen to me. When the people are crying, the first person they cry to is the man of God. When the people cannot afford to buy paracetamol for their headache, common headache, they need to buy paracetamol and drink for their headache. They don't, can't afford the money. They will come to the prophet. They will come to the man of God. It is not everything that is prayer, prayer, prayer. There are things that are scored. If the government play their role, the people will not need to begin to, oh, small headache, pastor. Small headache, a prophet, a small stomach ache, a man of God. They should be able to now use their money and get those ones they can get themselves. Because in the realm of the spirit, that's what's called division of labor. And so every man of God should be the one that is going to now do what is called the standing in the gap to talk about the politics. Politics is important that we talk about it. And so this was called uh, the people and what is called uh, the Biafran people and what is called the IPOB and what is called uh, what is called play draft. And this play draft, there's going to be what is called uh, somebody must win somebody when draft is played. And this draft that is being played is exactly what is happening. United Nations is right there telling their owner and the, 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 the government is down now bringing their own and what is called uh, opposition here and there. And this is what is called uh, people now dragging. Do you remember the day I gave prophecy? I said, I see United Nations now intervene. Come to Nigeria to intervene. This is a prophecy that has been said and it is now happening in our eyes. We need to look at the spiritual. We need to see what the Holy Spirit is teaching. We need to look at what God is saying. We need to enter in the realm of the Spirit and now bring out the word of God and what the Lord has said and begin to follow the word of the Lord. Because the word of the Lord is not the word of man. Hey, the word of the Lord is not the word of man. The word of the Lord is the word of the Spirit. You understand? It's the word of the spirit. And so if you like, believe it. If you like, don't believe it. The word of the Lord is the way of the spirit. And we must anchor and continue to follow that way. As this matter is going on here, the, 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 the government is now saying their own. And the United Nations, as the world government is saying their own. And the people that is called the IPOP people are now saying their own. And the people that have been bereaved, the people that are crying there are all saying their own. The government should not be sleeping. They should wake up and do the right thing. Do the right thing. The right thing is important because when you do the right thing, everybody will smile. Everybody will be happy. There will be joy everywhere. There will be happiness everywhere. There will be what is called the people. Everybody is settled and everybody is happy. People need to be happy. There's what's called happiness that need to be on the top of the end of affair because we are talking about the spiritual that control the physical. And when the spiritual control the physical, there's nothing to bother about or worry about because there's God in heaven.
And so I see the people that don't want to play this draft and you think you are more intelligent than these people, you are more ideology than these people, you are more what, what is called informed than these people, you will end up do what is called the, the wise man that died at the backyard of a fool. Because intelligent people are intelligent people. In every organization in the world, I look at the spiritual rating and I see what's called uh, people with the what's called uh, the rating in the realm of the spirit. And when you talk about the IPOB, you are talking about people with the highest intelligence and highest intelligence of what's called rating. As you're seeing me, I'm a prophet of God and I'm a major prophet of God. It is everything I see that I will say. I see things about what to do what I say. I see things about Ariwa, I say. I see things about government, I say. I see things about the people, I say. I'm not a man of God that now begin to keep quiet because I am a prophet of the whole world. So now tell the world the truth because this truth is written. So if you want to play politics or you want to play draft, be sure that one person must win in this draft. Because this draft is what's called the draft of IQ. People with IQ, people with intelligence. And this intelligence is what will now make the people now to now begin to now play what is called a draft and see who will win. And if I'm to advise, I will advise the government to do the right thing they need to do. If they should play draft, they'll play draft and the what is called the IPOB will win them, hands down. And there will not be anywhere to win them. Because this is what's called people with what's called high level of intelligence. Not by power, not by might. I'm not a, You see, you, one thing about you must know about major problem of God. I'm here in Nigeria. I'm not uh, fighting anybody or trying to say my own is to bring the truth to your doorpost. When I bring the truth to your doorpost, now whatever you want to do with the truth, go ahead and do it with it. If you like, throw the truth away. If you like, bury the truth. If you like, swallow the truth. And if you like, do everything you like. So oh, this one is enemy, this one is enemy. Do it like that. Leave major prophet of God. The things of the spirit that you don't know. I am the one that God will use to bring it out to the surface and tell you what will happen tomorrow. If you don't know, go and search. Go to my possibility TV and search. Search all the accuracy of everything that has happened on the face of the earth. This is the prophet that God is using to tell the whole world. Because I am seeing what is called a heat up. And this heat up is going to heat up as the election is coming forth. There's going to be what's called a heat up everywhere. And people will now, the same people that say, don't carry flag, don't come out, don't protest. You will see them storm the street. You will see Biafran flag again, raised up again. You will see what is called the marching of the people. Enter into the street and begin to go from one place to another. Because there's what is called a great high of intelligence. And another thing that will crown it all is that I see the man called Mazo Enamdekan returning from abroad to Nigeria, Nigeria back to Biafra land. And the land is now caught up with fire. Because everything that is already weak will now catch up and down. That will be what's called, what's called the move of the people when the power has entered into the hands of the people. And the people now become the champions of the champion. So we must continue to pray for peace. Because what we want is peace all over the world. We want a peace. Government should encourage what is called peace. If any government does not encourage peace, means the government is not ready to move the people forward. And how do you encourage peace? You dialogue with everybody. Discuss the way forward. Agree what is the best to be done. If it's the best is to now pay a house or okay, pay for a hotel bill. Let everybody converge right there in Nikon Hit in Abuja and have what's called at Ego Square and now stay there and discuss the way forward. Let us all converge there and begin to now say what we need to say because the issue of play draft and play politics is a waste of time. Let us now talk about how to gather together. You are a man of God, appear here. You are a prophet, appear here. You are a bishop, appear here. You are whoever you are, appear here. Whatever level or category that you belong, appear here. Let everybody now discuss the way forward and now have a way to now get what's called the betterment of the people because these people are more important than any other thing you are thinking about. Let us stop what's called play draft and play politics. But one thing you must know in playing draft, there are people that must win. When you play the draft, you think that, oh yeah, uh, let me now uh, use uh, what is called strategy and do this and do that. At the end of it, all oh, that strategy will not work because the people you want to play draft are more intelligent than you. I don't know how you feel it, but I am telling you the truth. The people you want to play draft with are more intelligent than anybody. This was one of the greatest number one. Even CIA of America cannot meet up with these people. Because these people are people that are now giving what is called the, the cry of their father's land, the cry of their 
loved ones that have lost their life in the time past, the cry of the pains that have been caused the land and the many years of frustration and abandonment and these people now said now what is called the spiritual intelligence are put together to now research and discover what's called the secret of the secret and if you don't know it you know it's a major prophet of God is the prophet of the whole world to now continue to tell the truth to the people that matters you need to hear the truth you need to hear the truth if you don't want to hear the truth now forget about it Time will tell because Major Prophet of God will always tell you and when they begin to happen all over the street, don't say Major Prophet did not see it. I saw it all. I have what's called a spiritual analysis. And when it comes to the, the, the number and how far, I know the spiritual analysis and everything the way it is. And uh, everything is now going the way dimension and what's called another level. So this is what's called, what's called prophetic and spiritual revelations that will continue to now reveal. Don't say major prophet of God, why are you into politics? Don't say politics. We are the people that must represent the office of heaven to tell the world the truth. And truth is the best. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I'm still your prophet. Prophet Dr. David Tinglo Elijah, the major prophet of the Most High. I am here to tell the truth to the whole world. And if you know that uh, you have not subscribed to this channel, Possibility TV, please do that. Tell your brothers to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe and click our notification button. And also make sure that you like and share all our videos. Continue to share it. This is the good news you are waiting for. Share this good news. Let the world know. Let the people know that this, this, is, this is what's called the Possibility TV, where God is speaking. Till we meet again tomorrow. It's going to be too powerful because God is going to move in a dimension that people cannot understand. They'll be asking, how manage and how did it start? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.